All right, welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to be talking about some Facebook ads that I recently saw so these were actually relatively new but before we get started here are the redeem codes that you guys are looking for. You're gonna get three items from this and they're all really really cute and the expiry for this is about November 30th 2020 so be sure to get that in before that date. But without further ado, let's get started with the ads. So this one actually made me crack up because I was like, what in the world am I watching? So this one is about Nikki, who is actually a guy in this case. He gets hit by the hammer of gender swapping and he becomes a girl. So she does a lot of makeup. She puts on a pretty face and does a little makeover to, I don't know, entice Reed. She comes up to him and he's just like, I fell for you a long time ago. But Reed just literally hits him up with, sorry, I'm gay. I love Nikki. Like, okay. Okay, number one, what in the world? Honestly, I didn't expect the story to make any sense at all. But I am always very amused by the fact that they have a lot of like gay relationships to promote this game, even though there's like nothing related. Like if anything, why don't they just ship Kimmy and Nikki? But I guess nobody from outside the fandom will really understand. And I guess this is what kids like these days. So yeah, I don't know. Like it's just so confusing to me. Like... <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't, I can't with this. And then for this next one, it wasn't that bad, but like um, one thing I found really interesting about the ads is that they really like appealing to uh, audiences with darker skin tones. You'll see in the next video too, but for this one, you're dressing up and it just compares you and a friend playing. And then for you, you actually dressed up well and you were able to snatch read while the other one actually messed it up with Louis because Louis is just like, she is nagging. But the funny part about this is that Reed ends up kissing Kimmy who they literally darkened the skin tone for and <laughs> I just I, I just my mind was boggled number one because you were originally wearing a dress and then somehow you're in a suit but number two it's like why did they do Kimmy I don't like know this? how I feel about them just darkening up the skin tone like are they trying to appeal to a different audience because even if so it's like a scam because when they come play the game thinking that there's a lot of skin tones to play with guess what no usually they're behind a paywall like the makeups i mean and it's like definitely not a game that embraces darker skin tones yet but i do see a little bit of improvement throughout the months playing the game or years and it's not amazing but it isn't the worst maybe i'm looking too deep into it maybe i'm not but yeah, let's just move on to the next one. So again, I don't know why they keep making the Nikki that you're supposed to be representing like a darker skin tone. It's like they want to appeal to that audience, but it's like this game isn't meant for that audience because, okay, so not gatekeeping at all. I'm just saying like this game was created in China and like a lot of the outfits are more for the lighter skin tones because that's Nikki's original color. Like everything I feel like I'm saying, I'm stepping on eggshells, but like, you know what I'm trying to say. They're not making much of an effort besides the ads to appeal to a darker skin toned player. And I'm just so confused. But anyway, sorry, let's backtrack to the ad. So this is about your boyfriend cheating. And again, I don't know why they decide to darken up his skin tone. And they did Kaja really dirty. She decides that you need a change to queen BF style. By the way, BF style is actually like slaying. I would definitely go for her. And she ends up going with this style. Of course, it's so weird because the makeup doesn't match the skin. And number two, this makeup doesn't even come in this darker skin tone color. I am confused, but it's okay. She wants to be the queen and he's the one and you're the dress up queen. So it's a full circle. And lastly, we're going to go with the classic Love Nikki ad, which is basically Nikki breaking up or trying to change herself for the guy. So she changes herself and Mila, who is supposedly her arch nemesis, she's just like, should I help Nikki or just keep walking away? But it's okay. She's going to help her this time. And then she makes her hot and she starts putting on different stuff. I love how bald Nikki is just on the side. No problem. And now she's all cute and stuff. And then Royce is just like, you look different. Can we get back together? And Nikki's just like, forget it. So like the funniest thing about this is like, your fashion your way and it just reminds me of like the meme for it and if you're gonna force me to be someone's wife you might as well put useless and non-cooking in front of it my way i ain't cooking for no stupid ass boy way sorry i hate myself but yeah, like Nikki always goes through like this huge transformation, always gets help from Mila. Like, I don't know what's up with Mila. Like instead of Momo, it's Mila. And then Mila is just like, what's up? You're a hottie now. And Nikki's just like, okay, I'm so hot. And then whoever guy she's trying to get to simp for her, they're like, oh, can I have you back? You're so hot. Like, I love it. And then she's like, no, no, you can't. You can't have me, even though I changed for you, but it's okay. It's actually for myself because it's my way. <laughs> 
And if you're gonna call me a loser, make sure you are never gonna fall in love because you're too addicted to anime and that causes you to lose a grip on reality and have 100 different anime crutches that you know that are never gonna love you back. My way. My way. And if you're gonna call me a bitch, make sure you put sad in front of it. My way. My way. On the, on the highway. Damn. So yeah, I just wanted to make like a fun, lighthearted video. I love making these ad videos because it's just it just brightens my day whenever I see these weird, weird videos. The fact that these even exist in the first place, despite all the censorship in the game, is just uh, I love the discrepancy and I love the inconsistencies. It's just I'm clapping. It's fantastic fantastic and it makes great discussion material so to sum it all up let's go back to the first one i think the first one is just weird af in terms of like what the point of this game is because the point of this game is to dress up but then they made it seem like a chapter kind of story where it's like you suddenly change your gender to be the presumable gender that your crush has but then turns out he actually liked you all the time and what do you do now you're stuck as a girl but you're actually a guy and you liked him as a guy and it was fine like that so you know that could be a wattpad story and then again for the next few ads like i don't understand why love nikki always feels the need to darken up the skin tone for an audience that they don't plan to cater to it just why why are you doing this to the game i don't mind them changing the color of whatever skin tone because i could like i don't care but like i do care that you're not going to follow through with it it's just i think it's a scam I just feel like the people who are coming to this game who are expecting Nikki's of like different colors are just going to be super disappointed because it's like what can you even make with anything like I feel like 90% of these makeups are behind a paywall where it's just ridiculous ridiculous we just want some diversity without worrying about money but uh, this is the game for you so yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below I would love to hear your thoughts and comments about these ads like love i would absolutely love and if you like this type of content remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all later bye